Here we have the small signal model of a common emitter BJT where the emitter resistance hasn't been shorted out. Um, we're neglecting the uh, series resistance and any biasing transistors. Okay, so um, we have the RPI model where the input resistance due to the leakage current to bias the transistor occurs, and it's called RPI. And uh, a lot of times we call the voltage drop across that VPI, but it's also VBE. The input current is IPI, or you could call it I little b. The voltage controlled current source would be GM VPI or GM VBE. And in this case, we've neglected the uh, collector to source resistance or set it to infinity to make the, the math easier. So the first equation is V out equals minus GM V pi RC. Pretty standard. And the now we need an equation for the emitter voltage drop, the voltage drop across RE. So that VE equals GM V pi plus I pi or IB coming in. Now this will be a lot less than this, and so you could set this to zero at uh, right now, uh, and you'll get the same result at the end. But if we look at I pi and say that's V pi divided by R pi, okay, we can say V in equals V pi plus V across the emitter resistor equals V pi plus GM V pi plus V pi divided by R pi times R E. Simplifying, we get V pi, we get this equation here. Now again, um, if we had set this to zero, this term would have dropped out. Okay, and when we solve V out over V in, we get minus GM RC divided by one plus one over R pi plus GM. Now, usually R pi is one over R pi is going to be a lot less than GM, and so this drops out and we get this equation. And again, we would have gotten the same result way back here as if we had just set this portion um, to zero because this would have been a lot less.